Greetings from Jim, AG6IF. I've been asked to explain how I get my IRLP node to connect to nets automatically that I like to listen to. This is done with a cron, which is a Linux scheduler. There's a file that needs to be created in Home IRLP Custom folder. It's called custom.crons. That's where you put your user statements in for connection, disconnection, that, that sort of thing. Uh, when you create that file as repeater and uh, issue the update files command from repeater login, uh, it will merge the system cron text file and your custom crons text file and issue that into the Linux cron tab system. So you do not modify cron tab for repeater in a conventional way. Uh, if you do, the system will just overwrite it with whatever is in the, the two text files, custom crons and the other one is called irlp.crons. So you modify this file and then issue the update files command. I have a quite a few cron statements in mind, but I've set up a test here that will let us connect to the reflector 9990, which you might recognize as the echo reflector, so you can hear yourself. It's, a, it's going to happen at 11.17, coming up here pretty quick, and then it'll last for a minute, and then at 11.18, the end command is executed. So there's what the command looks like. In about 15 seconds or so. And that, that command is going to be executed. If you want to see what's in your cron uh, at, the, at the current time, it's cron tab minus L minus Lima, and you can see it. You can see your own cron. IRLP Echo Reflector. Link active. Okay. It is uh, 1117. We have one minute, and it will disconnect. So if you've played with the uh, Echo Reflector, I'll grab my microphone here. We'll do a quick test. AG6IF testing. You send a transmission, it will come back a few seconds later. AG6IF testing. There it was, there was my response. AG6IF echo test. Testing one, two, three, four. Basically, I've got a little. Uh, Little Bofang UV3R monitoring here. There it goes. All right, and when we get to 18 minutes after the hour of 11, uh, the end command is going to execute. Run top here real quick so you can see. Okay, here we go. IRLP echo reflector link clear. Okay, link clear. So what we just did was we created a uh, statement in our cron command in our custom crons file issued the update files and it was just a quick connect and disconnect so once again here's the command that you you put in it's it's a minute and then the an hour obviously zero is midnight 23 is 11 p.m. and the other fields I don't need the statement is here the files connect to reflector the reflector name with the REF in front. And then the greater than out to the null so that it doesn't uh, try to send me an email every time it does something. And then one minute later, we issue the end command. You can type these commands in right from the command line on IRLP if you have access to it. I'm using a Pi, a Raspberry Pi, a Pi RLP from Dave Cameron. Uh, it really works nice. It runs on USB power, and um, and I'm using a. I was using a Bofang UV5R for my link radio. Realized that thing gets pretty darned hot, so I switched to a GE um, commercial radio, basically. And I've got it pre-programmed for a few few different uh, frequencies that I can use it. So, so that's how you set up your cron. You want the cron custom .cron file in the custom folder go back to my ls command here custom crons that's the one right there 
If it's not there, go ahead and create it with the touch command, T-O-U-C-H space custom period crons. Do that as the repeater login. And then here's your security that you want. You want to make it executable. And then you can load your statements right in there. And uh, if I look at it with the more command, I've got a bunch of different nets I like to listen to, so they connect automatically. And then every night at 1.30, I do the end command so that my station's disconnected if I, if I forget and leave it up. I don't want to leave it up all night uh, connected to a reflector. The station stays up all of the time, but uh, just execute that once a day, and then I've got a little section down here for any any testing I want to do. So, okay. Well, I hope uh, this is helpful to you. Um, if uh, there may be uh, uh, other ways to uh, to do this, but I call the connector reflector script directly from Cron. I I have talked to uh, Dave and some others who say it's generally better to create a, your own script that calls the connector reflector, but generally it works fine as long as the environmental variables inside of that script there so and the end command of course so thank you for watching this is Jim AG6IF my station number is 7991 if you're in Southern California feel free to give it a try if you want to Temecula California so 73 have a nice evening